Hi guys, it's Charlene. Welcome back. And today I have a Sephora. Okay, so haul I went to you. Sephora and purchased some things, and also I placed an order online. So let's just get right into it. First thing I purchased, I really wanted to try this, is the NARS Concealer. I've heard great things about it. I got it in the shade Light 2 Vanilla and it I have it on today I'm actually wearing it and it is great it's really creamy it's really uh, has full coverage and it blends well so I think I'm really gonna like this one I did try the what is it the Maybelline age rewind concealer I heard a lot of good things about that as well but it just it's too thin it doesn't have the full coverage that I was looking for so I'm happy I got this and this small size was only only $12 so you can't really go wrong with that um, next I purchased the Amika perk up dry shampoo I got this in one of my birch boxes and I tried it and it, it's great I love it it um I also tried the Batiste and I don't like that I'll tell you why um, it left a white residue in my hair no matter how much I rubbed it in, brushed it in, brushed it out, it still left that residue. With this, the scent was beautiful. I felt like it dried up any oils I may have, which I have dry hair, so I really don't have a lot of oils in there, but I only wash my hair maybe two or three times a week because it's so dry, and this stuff does not leave any white residue at all. You could just spray it right on and leave it sit, and you won't even see any white residue. So this was, I believe, $10 for a one ounce, but it goes a long way and it is definitely a good purchase in my eyes anyway. So it says Sea Buckhorn Buckthorn Fairy. I don't know what that means. Dry cleanse, refresh, and revive for all hair types. And I love it. Let me know if you guys have tried this or what your favorite dry shampoo is because I'm definitely up for trying different ones. So let me know in the comments below. Um, next, I have had my eye on this and I was really excited to get it. This is the Sephora Favorites Give Me Some Bold Lip and it comes with six lippies in there. And I am definitely, definitely happy with all of these. So the first one is from Bite Beauty. So this is actually like a crayon. It is a burgundy type of color and I will swatch it right here. That's really, really pretty. Really smooth and creamy. Looks like it's gonna dry matte, and right here is a little, little spot of something. A little bit came off, but not bad. It looks like a, like a burgundy color, which is really, really pretty. And next is a little Sephora Sephora Rouge Cream and it is in this red color. I'll swatch it. A little similar. That's this one right here. Again, feels and looks like it's gonna dry matte. Very, very pretty color. Um this next one I'm excited to try. It's a Tardist lip paint in this very vibrant purple color. And it has a, like a lip gloss wand. We'll swatch that one next. Oh my goodness, look at that. That is so pretty. Looks like that will dry matte as well, which I love. I, I like the matte colors. This one is, I always say this wrong. I don't know if it's Ciate or Chayate. And it is the liquid velvet and it's in the color head over heels this looks like a pretty like dark pink with a rosy undertone so we'll swatch that right underneath the purple yes definitely that is this one right here really pigmented I love it um, one the next one not one other one is a Laura Mercier lippy. You can kind of see on the packaging there. And this one is in the color, it's called An Affair. 
it's a really pretty brown color which I like that they give you a different um, different choices here lots of different colors oh my goodness how oh, pretty this one here now this one looks more like a lipstick I think it is going to not dry matte it is going to stay kind of that liquidy type but it's really pigmented pretty pretty last but not least is my favorite I have several of these already but it is the Kat Von D everlasting liquid lipstick and it's in the shade damned I have worn this already and my goodness it is beautiful it is a brown with a purple undertone and it is just gorgeous it's a little sheer on the first coat but once you apply a second coat that one there it really 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 shines through it dries quick and it stays on I even ate with it on and it didn't come off I had to actually really really take it off I'm gonna do a second coat right over top of that first swatch so you can kind of see how it turns opaque but um, I do believe this was $19.99 for this set, and it is well worth it. I love it. And I was even thinking of saving the cute little box because it's this little lippy box. So I'll find something something to do with that. Uh, next thing I got, I must, I did pull it out here, but it is the Too Faced Melt Off Mascara. Now this was actually a deluxe sample that they sent uh, free with my order. And it's funny because I had it in my cart and then when they said you could pick a free sample, this was one of the choices. So I took it out of my cart, got something else and um, wound up getting this. And a lot of what I was doing there, I was trying to spend a certain amount of money because I was only $37 away from becoming VIB. So I said, there's no way I'm going to let that go. This was New Year's Eve, December 31st. I had gotten an email that said you're only $37 away and you have to purchase by tonight. So of course I went online and purchased some things. Now I'll have the VIB status for the whole year of 2017, which is pretty awesome. So this, I'm excited to try. Too Faced is my favorite brand. And this is the Mascara Melt Off. Um, you apply it at the end of the day when you want to take off your mascara you apply it just like a mascara right on top of your lashes and it's supposed to melt them melt the uh, mascara right off now look at the wand can you see it's different it's like a coil and I will actually it's clear and I'm sure it's kind of like an oil it is it's it's definitely oily which is great because then that means less rubbing so I was excited to get that I also ordered the Julep Freedom Polymer Top Coat um, I'm a sucker for <laughs> different nail products especially top coats um, I usually use not too often a gel color a basic regular color but I might use a gel top coat or a really good top coat so I saw this and figured let's give it a shot and right along those same lines I also ordered the X formula shine top coat so I want to give this a try my two other favorites are Ulta brand top coat and um, I believe it's Revlon Gel Color Stay Top Coat. I feel that those really, really protect your nails. So I'm excited to get into that, see what that does. Um, also, because I was like $6 away from, or something like that, from my goal spending, I ordered two, I believe these were $3 each. I ordered two of the buffing blocks for your nails, and these are great. These have all the different sides. One is to buff, polish, shine, and file. Um, again, I I kind of forget the price of these, but I, I know they were on sale. I believe they were about $6 for each one, which is a good price. These were $3. And lastly, I ordered something I had never heard of. It is the, so it says Sephora Brow. And it's supposed to be a crayon that you draw on, draw, 
underneath your eyebrow and above your eyebrow for that brow highlight. So I should pop this baby open and we will swatch it. Okay, so this is what it looks like. And it is a pencil. Do a little swatch. That, that right there. And this is in the shade Opal. It definitely gives a nice little highlight. And again, all the other swatches are here. Uh, I'm going to run my finger across, see if any of them smear. Well, yeah, that first one did. Let's go this way. Ah, oh, some of them do. Some of them smear. So, mm, kind of a bummer, but I know the Kat Von D one doesn't smear at all. Look at that. Nothing. Nothing. So maybe it was just the top two that I did. I don't know. We'll see. But that is everything that I purchased. And then they did give me a few different samples. This I was excited to try. Skin Ink Pure Revival Peel. Hmm. In a little packet there. So I will definitely try that. Also, they gave me something else for really dry skin, which I don't have, so I gave that to my daughter. And this is Lancier The Method Polish. Don't know what this is, so I'll have to research it and find out what to do with that. But that is everything in the box. So I'm excited to try out these new things. And until my next video, guys, take care and I will see you soon.